There is a search on tonight for a would-be thief out there who might be somewhere nursing his injuries and a bruised eagle to go with him. Well, that's because when he stormed into a Glen Burnie restaurant armed with a shotgun, he encountered a cook who refused to be a victim. Only on ABC 7, Robert Lyles explains what happened next. Mikey's is a true roadside diner on Crane Highway, old fashioned food. I cook bacon and eggs. That yesterday was served with a little old fashioned justice. Well, I can punch you in the head. Whatever one you really want, I'm, I'm okay. Michael Oran has been the cook here just over a year, but Wednesday morning he was forced to transform from cook to crime fighter. I was behind the grill prepping for the morning, and he just came around the corner on me with a 12 gauge. Dressed in black, face covered with a ski mask. I put my hands up. But he was so close to me that when I made my first step, I could grab the shotgun. I hit him, but he didn't fall right away. Spatulas and bowls started flying. As we were fighting, because I was desperately trying to control this gun, I got a chance to where I got it and I could pull the trigger, but nothing happened. It didn't go off or nothing. Oran says that enraged the masked gunman. Plan B, I took my knife out, put it right up against his throat. I told him I cut his head off. He wasn't quite believing me. I put a little pressure on it. He let go. But chef crime fighter didn't let go, turning the butt of the gun on the assailant. Yep, a real bad cut in his forehead, and that's all that we had. Uh, yeah, there's blood everywhere. Michael's thrashing had that would-be robber running for the exit, where he left behind his shotgun loaded with six rounds. Anne Arundel County Police now have the gun and considerable DNA evidence, yet recommend when facing an armed bandit, don't do what Oran did, give in to demands. How do you prepare yourself for something like this? You know, you learn from it and you, you try to, you know, build forward, but by no means are we going to run scared. And with the suspect still on the run. I think maybe, you know, maybe he can just wake up today and, and say, you know, that, that was stupid. I'll never do that again. In Glen Burnie, Robert Lyles, ABC 7 News. <laughs> oh my goodness. I don't know if he'll be saying that was stupid or ouch. <laughs> I'll tell but you, that's what you get when you mess with a guy who looks like a young Robert De Niro. <laughs> that's what you get. And he had a knife. Cooks are going to have a knife. <laughs> have Come knives. on. All right.